I'm going to quickly explain how liquidations work in crypto. So a liquidation is when your positions are sold off automatically and all of your borrowed money is taken by the exchange because of a losing position. In other words, a trade that you entered in and you're then left with nothing. Liquidations only apply when you're either margin trading or trading futures as you must have borrowed funds to enter your trade. This means that if you're trading on the spot market, you're fine. You cannot get liquidated. Liquidations work when you've borrowed money to enter a trade and the market value of your account balance becomes roughly that borrowed amount. As an example, let's just say that you only have $1,000. You borrow $2,000, which means you now have $3,000. You use all of that $3,000 to enter a position. This means that you're leveraged by three times. This means that if the value of your account balance goes to $2,000, you would get liquidated. A drop from $3,000 to $2,000 is roughly roughly a 33% drop. This should make sense because you only put in $1,000 of your own money, which you just lost in a trade. For the other $2,000, that belongs to the exchange. It's money you borrowed that they'll take back if you don't have any other funds in your account balance. Now, the example that I've shown is a very simple example and doesn't account for margin requirements. This means how much you have to have in your account balance before getting liquidated. Let's use the same example from before, but let's add Add in margin requirements. For margin requirements, the exchange requires that you have 5% as an example. Now, each exchange will have their own requirement, and so I'm just using a random number. Exchanges require this so they don't lose money in the event that the market value of your balance plummets. With a margin requirement of 5%, this means that you'll get liquidated when the account balance is $2,100. This is the $2,000 that you borrowed plus 5%, which is how that extra $100 is calculated. This is a drop of $900 or 30% on your position. If the value of your account balance becomes $2,100, your position is automatically exited. The $2,000 that you borrowed will be returned to the exchange and your account balance will be left with nothing due to the margin maintenance. So the best way to not get liquidated is by borrowing lower amounts or if you've already entered a trade, you can put in more margin to increase your account balance. Another thing to keep in mind when margin trading or trading futures are the interest fees and funding rate. This is automatically deducted from your account balance, so you may see your account balance decrease over time due to these. So here's a table that shows the leverage factor and the percentage drop that would get you liquidated. This table doesn't include margin requirements as each exchange is different with that. To get these numbers, all you're doing is taking 100% and dividing it by the leverage factor to give you the estimated price drop for liquidation. So that's pretty much how liquidations work when trading crypto. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.